And it was just incredible because she said, you know, I saw myself afterwards and I realized why I was so shy. I felt so uncomfortable in my body that it impacted the way that I sort of dealt with everyone. And now I feel like, I feel free. And that's how she described it. She described it as a freedom, which is not something that, you know, I hear often. And, and she felt like you took away my shackles and now I can be myself. And this is who I really am. I really do like to talk. And, and I, I tell you, you know, I, it's been a while since I've had that patient, but I still recall that because it's, it's just like one of those like wow moments. And, um, and I'll probably be telling the story, you know, 30 years from now. So my name is Dr. Christopher Chung, and I am the Chief Medical Officer for Sonobello. I'm a board certified plastic and reconstructive surgeon for about the last 20 years with a primary focus on aesthetic plastic surgery. Sonobello's ABX is a very new, innovative procedure that was actually developed by Sonobello. It's really a combination of best of both worlds in terms of body contouring. We know that liposuction is a great procedure for volume reduction that's caused by fat, and we know that procedures such as tummy tuck is great for skin, and really what Sonobello's ABX is, is a combination, it's a marriage of both of those procedures done in one setting where we can address both the fat and the skin. The way that I see it, not one size fits all. Every patient comes in with different needs, and it's not even a 50-50. Some people have more of fat, some people may have more of skin, and then really what Sonobello's ABX allows us to do, it really allows us to titrate and custom tailor the procedure to that one patient's need, as opposed to just sort of putting everyone through a procedure that may be almost right for them, but not perfect for them. Traditional tummy tuck is a great procedure. However, it's a great procedure if in fact all your concern was skin related, but we know that a lot of patients present with both skin and fat. And, and that's where you know our options thus far have been somewhat lacking. And, and that's true for Sonobello as it was true for outside community. And, and, and that really was sort of the genesis for our innovation with coming up with a procedure, Sonobello ABX, where we can address both the fat that the tummy tuck does not address along with the skin to the same extent that a traditional tummy tuck would. So in describing the Sonobello's ABX, you know, I usually like to sort of partition this into three parts. The first part, which I think is very important, is the anesthesia component, because I think that's something that's oftentimes overlooked. And, and I really want to sort of pause here and, and give some insight as to why we do the type of anesthesia that we do, because we do minimal sedation. And the reason for that, the main drive for minimal sedation is for ultimate safety. When we talk about surgical risk, we oftentimes talk about the surgery itself, but we sort of don't really put a lot of emphasis on the physiologic burden that general anesthesia can have on the patient. And quite frankly, that's where a lot of the risk comes from. And so at Sonobello, because we're trying to really promote safety above anything else, we have sort of contained ourselves to offering procedures with only minimal sedation where the patients are awake, patients are comfortable through the usage of our tumescent anesthesia, which is the fluid containing the numbing solution that we use. And, and that's really what sort of provides the anesthesia component. So once that is achieved, now we can move on to the second part of our procedure, which is the liposuction part, and that's our triscope. And, and here we use laser-assisted liposuction where not we don't remove little, we remove as much as that is safely done in one setting. And once all that liposuction is done, then essentially we start the third part of our procedure, which is that of, that of skin. So here the patient is completely re-draped, re-sterilized, and, and we determine how much skin will best need, meet the patient's need, and then we remove that skin as well. How does a patient know if ABX is right for them? Um, I think, you know, as a patient, we all have a sense of what our end point is, you know, what we don't like about ourselves, whether it's a combination of fat, skin, 
Um, I don't think you need anyone to sort of tell you what you don't like. I think we all know that. I mean, you know, a lot of these are as a result of being a mom, you know, and having some weight gains and fluctuations. Um, none of which we can really control because, you know, and some, even if it's fat, you know, there are some areas of fat that's very stubborn and that's very resistant to dieting and exercise. And as far as the skin is concerned, once the skin is there, it's hard to sort of get rid of that skin other than through surgery. So I think a lot of people may have a pretty good sense of whether, you know, they would benefit from a procedure that encompasses both fat and skin. With all that said, that of course, you know, there's a lot more involved and, and that's where sort of the education that we provide at San Labella by our expert consultants and by our surgeons would come in handy because then they will really sort of assess you and determine if in fact ABX is appropriate for you. And sometimes the answer may be no, where we may say surgery is not the right option because ultimately at the end of the day, our goal is to serve you, the patients, and, and make sure that we custom tailor the surgical option that's most appropriate for you. And at times, that's no surgery. The transformations from ABX. You know, this is a uh, this is a difficult question for me because at, in some sense you would think, well, it should be very easy because you see these wonderful physical transformations in terms of you know shape your body, getting rid of all that excess skin. But but really the impact that ABX, as far as it relates to me as a as a surgeon, I think goes far deeper than just the physical changes the surface changes that we can all appreciate from before and after pictures. Because I think the impact that it has on the patient is so deep reaching. And, and sometimes they don't even say a word. I see a patient coming in for their post-op visit and I see the way they walk, they conduct themselves, you know, their inner glow and, and they're just radiant, you know, in, in terms of their confidence. And, and those are these small things that makes a huge difference in terms of how you know, I feel about that patient. And quite frankly, it's those type of moments that sort of drives all surgeons to sort of come back to work next day and see if we can make that same difference on another patient.